With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see my talk, From Zero to ML on Google Cloud Platform, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. Maybe you've never built a machine learning model before, or maybe you're a hardcore ML expert. No matter your level of experience, we've got something for you on Google Cloud. In this talk, I covered our spectrum of machine learning offerings, from products targeted towards application developers with little or no machine learning experience, to tools for folks with more ML expertise. The talk covered three of our cloud machine learning products, machine learning APIs, AutoML, and ML Engine. Let's get a quick taste of each section, starting with machine learning APIs. Our ML APIs make it easy to add machine learning to your app with a single REST API request. No ML expertise or training data required. We've got five APIs to help you with common ML tasks, analyzing images, analyzing video, converting audio to text, analyzing text, and translating text into over 100 languages. I highlighted our vision and natural language APIs with live demos, showing how you can try these APIs directly in the browser. Then, we had a cameo from Nick Hasty, director of R&D at Giphy, an app for searching and sharing millions of GIFs. Nick shared how Giphy is using the Vision and Natural Language APIs to optimize Giphy's search and GIF tagging. Nick showed us that the ML APIs are a great way to get up and running with ML quickly. But what if you need to customize them with your own data? That's where our newest addition to cloud machine learning comes in, Cloud AutoML. Announced in beta at Next, AutoML lets you train Vision, natural language, and translation models with your own data, no model code required. In the AutoML section, I showed live demos of each variance in the AutoML UI. Starting with Vision, I demoed a model that can detect the type of cloud in an image. While you could use the Vision API to tell you an image has a cloud, we wouldn't expect it to identify the scientific name of a cloud. This model can classify five different types of clouds. AutoML natural language lets you build custom text classification models trained on your own text data. I showed a demo using a dataset from the nonprofit Donors Choose, which matches teachers who need resources for their classroom with interested donors. With AutoML NL, I built a model to categorize need requests from teachers into categories so that donors can easily be matched with projects they're interested in. AutoML Translate lets you build domain-specific translation models for translating industry-specific jargon and linguistic nuances. There are many instances where the Cloud Translation API will work just fine but certain cases require a translation model trained on your own custom data. For example, let's say I see the following error message on my machine. I can summarize it as, the driver is not working. But what if I need to translate this summary? In our case, we know this refers to software. But taken out of context, the translation is ambiguous. It could be referring to a broken golf club. The driver club isn't working. The same sentence could also refer to a taxi driver who is on strike and therefore not working. A base model wouldn't know which domain this referred to, and this is where a custom model comes in handy. I showed a live demo of AutoML Translate using data provided by our customer We Localize. I'm incredibly excited about AutoML because it makes custom models accessible to anyone, regardless of their ML expertise. But there are cases where you have a custom task and need more control over the type of model you're using and the inputs to that model. That brings us to the third section of the talk, Cloud ML Engine. ML Engine is a managed platform for training and serving your own custom ML models. It supports models built with TensorFlow, Keras, Scikit-Learn, and XGBoost. You can leverage ML Engine's GPUs and TPUs to train models, and you can deploy your models to ML Engine for serving. To show ML Engine, my teammate Zach Akil came on stage to share a live demo. Zach and I each built models independently to accomplish the same task. I built one in TensorFlow, and he built one using Scikit-Learn. We used ML Engine to serve them, and Zach showed how easy it is to build a front end that calls different versions of your model, even if they were built with entirely different frameworks and dependencies. Well, that's it. The talk covered a lot of material, and I hope it gave you an idea of the variety of ML offerings we have on Google Cloud. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching. <laughs>